Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Crazy Pie, and for some reason it feels like forever since I've actually sat down to record a video, but I've honestly changed my mindset now to the point where I'm ready to record more videos as much as I can. I want to focus a lot more on this channel. I wish I did. It's all because I got my new job now that I'm not focusing enough on it, but guys, I'm going to start focusing a lot on it more now. Excuse me. Starting off with today. So today we're going to be talking about the top 5 best gun loadouts within Apex Legends also known as the top 5 best gun combinations slash combos within Apex Legends. So without further ado, if you guys are new here, if you guys have never seen this channel before, please go down below, hit the bell notification as well as the subscribe button, as well as comment what your favorite gun loadout is. I'm very curious to see what your guys' favorite gun loadouts are. My personal favorite is the R99 Hemlock or R99 Wingman combo. I have some three pretty sweet combos here though that uh, combine with them, each other and uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, so without further ado, let's get into the first combo. So the first combo that I want to talk about, I've already mentioned it, the R99 Hemlock. So I made a video all about both the R99 and the Hemlock, why I feel like the R99 is one of the best guns in the Apex Legends Season 1, and why I feel like the Hemlock is one of the most underrated guns, but boys, 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 the R99 and Hemlock combo is insane. First of all, you have the R99 coming in with the close range quarters combat so you know you can just go run up and rush people as fast as you possibly want and you'll make it out alive because you'll be rushing them so fast they won't even know what's happening as well as it has one of the fastest fire rates with the fastest sprint speed so you can sprint with the R99 extremely fast so thus the R99 makes up the rushing part of this class setup then we're gonna move on to the hemlock and why I chose it to be with the R99 I basically chose it because it's a long range and you can switch it to single shot mode the single shot hemlock can shoot faster than the G7 and put out more damage faster than the G7 as well. Thus, I like it more than the G7, plus it holds more ammo and, like I said earlier, faster fire rate. So you get more shots per uh, clip, I guess you can say, which just helps it a lot so you can just melt people down across the map. Hemlock single shot, if you haven't tried it out yet, go put a two-time scope on it and enjoy it. Getting on to our number two spot here, guys, we have the R301 and Peacekeeper. So the R301 and Peacekeeper both combine very well together. Normally, it would be R99 and Peacekeeper, but now we're choosing the R301 with the Peacekeeper because the Peacekeeper is what's going to be our up close and personal damage. The Peacekeeper is what's going to be on our back and when we're rushing around the corner, what we're going to be holding in our hand 99% of the game. Just like with the R301, or with the Hemlock I mean, the R301 can go single shot as well, which means you can shoot it at a longer range very easily. It's kind of like training wheels for when you're trying to shoot at a long distance. That's what the main bulk of the medium to long range for this class would be. But then what you want to do is you want to actually shoot the Peacekeeper at the enemy. So try and break all of their shield out. Hopefully you have a precision choke on the Peacekeeper. Hopefully you have a purple barrel sh uh, shotgun bolt. But what you're going to want to do is hit him with the Peacekeeper and then immediately switch over to the R301 or vice versa. Maybe you want to, you know, jump out and hit him with the Peacekeeper, you know, run around, hit him with the Peacekeeper again. Or what you can do is shoot their shield down from a longer range. So say you're posted up behind a rock outside of bunker and they're inside of bunker, you can get them down, you can knock all of their shield down with your R301 and then boop, instantly switch over and you can melt them with the Peacekeeper because their shield is already broken. Same thing, if you shoot them with the Peacekeeper, you knock their shield down, switch immediately over to the R301, hit him in the head a couple of times, bam, you've got the whole squad down. Trust me, it's still overpowered when you use these two guns together. Unfortunately, they took out the insta-swapping glitch that I made a video on a while ago, but it still does work even without the insta-swap glitch. Now, the last gun combo I have, most of you guys are probably very familiar with it. I know a lot of streamers use it. We're talking about straight up bare bones wingman spitfire combo. The wingman and the spitfire Fire combo is one of the most popular combos within Apex Legends simply for the fact that the wingman used to be the most overpowered gun in all of FPS you know battle royale it was unreal how overpowered the wingman Spitfire was because for starters you have both long-range weapons but you can also use both at close range so you have 
basically like you're using four weapons. You're using two close range and two long range because each gun has the capability to do both. All right, it's ridiculous. The wingman hits like an absolute truck. So does the Spitfire. You've slowed the enemy down when you shoot them because of the bullet size as heavy bullets. And it's just unreal how overpowered this combo is. I'm not going to say it's as overpowered as it was. If you can hit your shots, it's going to be very good. So you want to practice with your accuracy, maybe hop into the training lobby, try and get a couple shots down on the practice targets and get your aim proper for the day. But when you use this combo, it's actually ridiculous. You can melt their shield off if you're using the wingman by like really long range. It's super easy because the shots are straight no matter what. You can tap the trigger as much times as you want. The ADS sights will always go back to 100, 100 shot. So it's very good. But then after you knock down their shield, switch to the Spitfire and you basically have the drum gun from Fortnite in your back pocket. It's unreal. It's so overpowered, the Spitfire. I like using it, the M600. It's ridiculous. Go for this combo. Trust me. My personal favorite though, R99 Hemlock. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please read down below if you did enjoy to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel so you never miss future content from CrazyPie. As we're going to be recording tons more Apex Legends content over the next coming weeks. Hopefully every single other day we'll have a video because of my work schedule. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you all. I'll see you guys later. Peace out boys.